Yo, this is Lex, and this is a guide on Spirit Barrage and Group Runs. I'll be going over both the speed and push variants of the build. If you're new to Spirit Barrage, be sure to check out my previous videos on the solo builds for the basics. You'll need to know the barbell mechanics explained in the solo push video. The group speed playstyle is very simple and just spam Spirit Barrage. Make sure you cast Pestilence once per pack to spread it, and keep your Soul Harvest active. Big Bad Voodoo should be active all the time due to Grave Injustice procs. The Boogeyman rune is used to spawn zombie dogs that are sacrificed for extra damage. Provoke the pack's damage buff can be stacked up to 5 times for a max of 100% damage. Continue to sacrifice dogs while spamming Spirit Barrage. The Spirit is Grilling rune will replenish your mana. Aim Spirit Barrage at Elites. Your support members should group the trash for more splash damage to Elites. The Bob should be spawning globes either with Grim Harvest or Jarring Slam. Then picking them up to activate your Gruesome Feast for more damage. If you're playing with a Shielding Monk, you can use Sports Necklace for 100% more damage. You can start doing these speedruns at Greater Rift 115, and they should be done in about 3 to 4 minutes. The group push playstyle uses the accumulation method explained in the solo push video. Be sure to watch that video first before continuing. The difference here is it's much easier to allow phantasms to build up for the full 10 seconds, and we also gain sacrifice and convention of elements. Let's go over the rotation. At the beginning of Convention of Elements Poison Phase, cast Pestilence once to start spreading the Ring of Emptiness damage bonus. Make sure Big Bad Voodoo is active for the attack speed bonus. You should have free zombie dogs summoned from the Boogeyman rune. Sacrifice these dogs to stack Provoke the Pack's damage bonus. This multiplier is a snapshot for Phantasms, so it will last a full 10 seconds, but the dogs need to be sacrificed before Spirit Barrage is casted. Using Sacrifice during the accumulation would do nothing. Attack Speed is also a snapshotted damage multiplier for Phantasms. The Monk's Exploding Palm is bleeding enemies to activate my Pain Enhancer, capping my attack speed for the snapshot. Stand close to the density and start spamming Spirit Barrage in the middle. As soon as an enemy dies, stop casting. Three Phantasms are left in density to begin accumulating Barber damage. At least one support member should have an oculus ring, spawning a damage circle on the ground. This is a dynamic multiplier, so you want to stand in this circle during the accumulation. If you can't kill an enemy before the poison phase is over, stop casting anyways and skip the oculus ring. The endless walk bonus is also a dynamic multiplier, so try to limit your movement during accumulation to build up more damage. Our final dynamic multiplier is the Convention of Element Cold Phase. These 4 seconds need to occur sometime during the 10 second accumulation period. You need to also cast another Pestilence since it falls off after 8 seconds. All these dynamic multipliers build up more damage during accumulation. They are not applied at the explosion, so you can let your Phantasms expire afterwards. Let's go over an advanced technique, the Stomp Gap. This rotation is the same up to the Oculus Ring and Cold Phase. After these multipliers are over, you can cast Spirit Barrage once, popping the first Phantasm to clear some trash. Then the Barb can stomp in more enemies before the second and third Phantasms expire. The Stomp Gap technique can give you an extra chance to kill Elites. Check the D3 Planner link for all the build details and variants. Please like the video if this helped, subscribe for more content, and feel free to stop by the livestream with any questions or comments. Happy slaying!